Welcome back to EDU in 90. I'm Brendan, and I'm a former high school math teacher from Texas. And today, I work on the computer science education team at Google, specifically focusing on CS First. Today, we're giving you a quick introduction to originality reports, a new feature for Google Classroom and assignments. With so much of the world's information readily accessible, educators face a huge challenge in helping students keep their work authentic. Today's teachers spend a lot of time checking student work for originality and giving feedback about miscitations and improper paraphrasing. We've heard from educators that they have to copy and paste suspicious passages into Google search to check the originality of student work, a process that's quite inefficient and one that takes time away from more meaningful review and feedback. Well, we're happy to report that with originality reports, there's now a better, faster way to help students learn to properly cite sources and for teachers to verify authenticity. Let's check it out. With originality reports, we've baked the power of Google Search into our assignment and grading tools to make reviewing students' work quicker and easier. When you're using Google Classroom and assignments, you'll have the option to enable originality reports. Originality reports automatically compare student assignments for matched phrases across the largest collection of content in the world, including hundreds of billions of web pages and tens of millions of books. It then flags originality issues and links to the matching sources right within the grading interface. While most plagiarism tools are used by teachers to catch student cheating, originality reports empower students to improve their own writing by allowing them to scan their work up to three times before submitting it so they can revise as needed. If an instructor has enabled this feature for an assignment, a student can click Check Originality to run a report when they attach an assignment. If the tool finds a strong similarity to other text, missing citations, or poor paraphrasing, the student can open the report to adjust the text and add sources. This helps them avoid accidental plagiarism, learn to source effectively, and be more accountable for their work. And Originality Reports helps educators like you save time by enabling you to analyze documents for originality using Google Search right from within the grading interface. No cutting and pasting required. Plus, originality reports are automatically generated with every submission to help give students additional guidance if needed. Originality reports will first be available in English, but soon you'll be able to use it for other languages too. You'll also be able to check for matches in work submitted by other students at your school. G Suite for Education users will be able to turn on the feature for up to three selected assignments per course at no charge. And if your school upgrades to G Suite Enterprise for Education, you can run unlimited reports. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Originality Reports and let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel so that you don't miss an episode. And we'll see you next time for more EDU in 90. We're back with more updates. Check out our last episode for news on Google Earth, transformation reports, and more.